Okay, <clears throat> we're back. And today's sponsor of today's video is Jake. Okay, you can't, oh wow, okay. That's taking yes. up my whole face. Okay, first of all, what is this? This is Felipe Franco. <laughs> Dude, okay, what am I looking, well, what are they looking at? Okay, well, first of all, what is this? It's a naked, right? it's a naked man. This is a person? With their anatomy broken down, but in case you guys can't see, it's a 3D and you can feel his whole body. Okay? <laughs> you can also feel his nipples. Must be cold out. I don't know <laughs> why someone sent this to us. But we what? have like 20. I digress. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. I don't know what that is, but I'm not putting a video into that. Okay, here we go. And three, two, one, hit it. What are we doing, Andrew? Uh, we are doing for time, full rounds, 25 GHD sit-ups, a 25 foot handstand, or sorry, 25 foot overhead walking lunge, one arm with a 70 pound dumbbell, uh, and then a 25 foot obstacle handstand walk, and then another 25 foot back. So in this case, we used a ramp and stairs. So you went stairs, down the ramp, then up the ramp, down the stairs. Mm -hmm. And then you lunge the dumbbell on the other side back. That's a round. Four rounds, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we really went 25 feet for the, the walk. Yeah, which is pretty much just get off the walk yeah, and yeah, continue. Yeah, we were just yeah. focusing on viewing the obstacle since. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Jake for qualifying for the Mid Atlantic CrossFit Championship qualifying co competition. <laughs> okay, how many C's can we put in it? A so lot. we're going to have to get Jake on an obstacle because. It's going to be there. Well, just keep watching, guys. Just keep watching. <laughs> I, I started a minute after Jake. Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, we needed, which looking back, we probably should have had you start after he was done with the obstacle, obstacle yeah. but you actually ran into deal. him and passed him and then it was fine. Yeah, it was, so, it was I, 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 skills and drills. Skills and drills, y'all, yeah. skills and drills. Sometimes mm -hmm. you gotta tone it back. So for the stairs for this, we don't actually have the stairs yet because Titan Fitness decided to send me a 40 pound kettlebell instead of sending me the stairs for it. I guess, you know, 40 pound kettlebell stairs. Easily mistakable. Easily, I mean, I, I don't know how to use that 40 pound kettlebell as a stair, but if I could, I would. Insert Titan promo video. <laughs> <laughs> now he knows how to do it. <laughs> now Andrew's just gonna start snapping his fingers and pointing. If you snap, if you snap your fingers and point, I will do it. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we're doing again like Andrew told the workout. Um, we we stack plates on the backside, um, which you can't see right now, um, but it works the same. I mean, it's not really the same, yeah. but for now, it's a good, good midline, good midline workout, okay. good stimulus of having to support weight over the shoulder, and then having to do something very, very high skill with the obstacle. Um, you would scale back, obviously, just not use the obstacle. So if you can handstand walk, but like you don't have access to a obstacle, just do a true twenty-five foot sure. um, handstand walk and. You're good to go. So for Midwest May, this is actually a workout, a workout that, 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 that you guys did. Sort of. We added a, the second hand, we took the second handstand walk and added it together because of the obstacle. Yeah, we decided to use an obstacle because it came in the mail and we wanted to get Jake on it um, for prep. Um, and so instead of going up and down the obstacle twice, it's supposed to be 50 feet right. twice in a round. That, that was too aggressive. That been way too many obstacles. Mm. And so we uh, toned it back a little bit, which is okay. Talk about that all the time. I get questions all the time. Hey, do I tone it back? Sure, you can tone it back. We tone it back just so we get to work on skill yeah. of the obstacle. The purpose was working on the obstacle. Yeah. I mean, so, the, the the lunge. Anyone can single arm lunge. Yeah. Anyone can GHD. Yeah. Um, but the 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 purpose of this workout was the skill on the yeah. on the walk. Now, when you combine all these three, that made it very yeah interesting. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, when you had this written for the Midwest, you almost kicked Jake right there, dude. You almost <laughs> yeah, smoked him in the that. face, dude. Like, <laughs> Just like kicked him in the face. <laughs> All you see is a dangling hang in there. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> when you wrote this for Midwest Made, was it a single arm dumbbell? Yes. Okay, okay. So, so what was heavier? There? We were meant to do it at 100. Oh. You wanted to do it at 70, which I got. I thought we were supposed to do it at 50. No. Hundred pound. Oh shoot! I thought it was a fifty. I said a seventy because I thought it was supposed to I be thought, a fifty. So I thought you wanted to do seventy just to turn it back and work on the obstacle, which is fine. Like, no, well, well, I mean, so. worked out the same. But yeah, so you bros out there, if you do it with a hundred, you be him. He did scale. <laughs> you did RX. He did I uh, RX. he did RX. I scaled minus. this workout. You did RX plus plus plus. Did <laughs> I did RX skill. RX minus minus minus. 
Alright, so um, at this point, Jake and Andrew are going to be starting your second round, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, so your first round... It was pretty good. For your obstacle... Yeah, I went... Uh, I made up the stairs my first try. Mm -hmm. Ramp, I made all the way up the ramp, but then got I just didn't get down the stairs, and then I got it my second try. Okay. Um, so That's went, good. Yeah, I went super good. Yeah, this is like my second or third time trying to do any obstacle whatsoever. So we've had the wooden one. We had the wooden ramp and the wooden stairs. So and did never you ever use it? I've never even tried it. Oh, okay. So this is the first time you've ever Which used a handsome obstacle. It's a good thing that you didn't yep. use that before yep. this. Like, this is your first exposure, and you get to use something nice that's nice. Yeah. I honestly was super happy with how it went. I mean, you'll see me kick a cone eventually. Whoa! Spoiler! <laughs> cut it out. Cut it out. Okay, I swore if you die. Let's tell him. Well, there's no audio. I don't care what you say. Yeah, family friendly. Family friendly. Um, That's what I said. But yeah, I mean, honestly, the toughest part for me is keeping my momentum going, especially going up the stairs. Um, like the stairs are way harder than the ramp, and uh, I mean, with the plates, they're a little bit wider than the stairs, right? Yes, they so are. So then I found deeper, myself deeper. Or, is yeah, the yeah. So then I found myself having to almost take like an extra step on each plate to get closer to the edge because if I would take too far of a step with my hand, then I would, my, my momentum would shift and then I would fall, so. Yeah, and the plates we're using are comp plates, so they're not gonna be flat. So they got like words on them and ridges mm -hmm. and holes and stuff. And so luckily when you use the, when Titan decide to finally send me the stairs, <laughs> Uh, they won't have like holes and words and, mm -hmm. well you never know, maybe after they watch this video they might, they might just not send it. <laughs> or just put holes in it. Yeah, too. Yeah. So Andrew, talk about you using the obstacle. Uh, yeah, I actually think opposite for me. I have a harder time going up the ramp and then coming down the stairs than hmm. I do going up the stairs. Why do you think that is? Um, honestly, I think it's just because of the way I handstand walk. I have a, like, not a great position, so I'm always working on handstand walk position-wise. So I think I, I struggle going up hill rather than downhill, so. Well, yeah, I mean, like, but, yeah, I mean, downhill is really easy, Yeah, I think. I mean, but what about, I think everyone kind of thinks that, going down the stairs. I think it's down, I down the stairs is super easy. Yeah, down the ramp, I struggle. But do you struggle with going up the stairs or up the ramp? Up the ramp. Up the ramp is harder for you, but yeah. up the stairs is harder for you. Right, I'm opposite yes. of Jake a little bit. Yeah. So. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't really think there's really a reason for it. It might just be like up here. Yeah. Um, do you guys have any things that you tell yourself while you're trying to... Yeah, complete? don't fall. Well, besides that, like technique-wise or like just as far as how do I yeah. how navigate this better? I think, I think you have to uh, lean quite a bit. So let's talk about going up this ramp and down the stairs. So the, what we're watching now, like you're gonna see the ramp and then the stairs down, this view. I think you have to attack the ramp with some speed mm -hmm. and have to have a good lean, right. which we'll watch Jake do right here, right? Right, so he's yep. got a good lean. And then I think once you get to the top. It's about catching yourself. Yeah, because you have you to slow down. Yeah, because if you over lean, you're gonna fall on the plates. Yeah, so you made it that time. Right. No, you didn't make it that time. You almost made it. Because I think if you go too fast and you get to the top and you have to go down the stairs, you get to like, oh crap, now I'm going down and I gotta put my try, hands on yeah, these holes try and. Try to catch yourself a little yeah. bit. Yeah, because the nice part about the plates we're using is the fact that they're really deep. Yeah. So you have a lot of play going down. But if you're using stairs, like the stairs you're gonna send, they're half yeah. the distance. Mm -hmm. And so you can't be like, oh, we'll go down really fast. Like your hand. Yeah, basically yeah. it's, I mean, my hand. Yeah, your hand. I mean, no, Andrew I could put like, yeah. Three of his hands. Oh, I just threw that dumbbell down. Yeah, starting to get a little heated now. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see Jake. <laughs> um, I wanted to train transitions a little bit. I tried to make sure I picked the dumbbell up right away. Challenged myself to get going on the lunge right away, not kind of rest between. Also, I tried and it wasn't always successful. But like setting the dumbbell down and trying to kick up right away. I wanted to see if I could, you know, get going as as quick as I could on the handstand walk, and that would obviously derail me sometimes because I would fail and then I would have to come back. But, training session, practice it, work on it, so. Yeah, I did not try to kick up immediately. I think I knew, like, if I kick up immediately, I am going to fail. Yeah. You know, something that helped me, uh, especially in the ramp, was, um, like, do you ever, like, Handstand walk for speed, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you lean way farther. Yeah, from, you like, know, from you, like 25 feet. Yeah, yeah. So I've done that before, and then in my head, I'm just like, okay, act like you're. Who are you? Oh, dude. Who are you been making out with? <laughs> um, <laughs> no comment. Uh, anyway, so then um, I would just try to like act like I'm handstand walking for speed, and then I felt like I'd be going a normal pace on the ramp. Oh, because it's inclined. Yeah. See, I can't do that for the stairs. I gotta think about the stairs. Let me ask you this. Do you guys start with the same hand? 
I try to, mm-hmm. and then with the plates being so deep, sometimes mm-hmm. I get off my hand yep. plate, and that's yep. where I get in trouble because then I'm trying to like balance, and then I'm trying to which hand goes first? Yeah, and then I'm, and then I'm off. So yeah, yep. I definitely have a hand that I like to go first with, but I always leave with my left. And that's right. I always so leave my right. That's right. <laughs> keep it family friendly. <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna insert bleep there yeah. on <laughs> Andrew's mouth in case we get like you know you ever watch like the NFL where they do yeah. like the mouth and you can like yeah. see their mouth and, like oh, they're yeah. cursing up like Tom yeah. Brady just cursing (laughs) now now jake's cursing yeah oh yeah so again jake started a minute before andrew since we we put up the same time so jake's actually well the clock is actually jake's clock um andrew's clock will be a minute behind and i can actually insert two clocks if i really want to which i'll do that i guess so this is the end of my third round and i'll be starting my fourth (sighs) yeah it's frustrating especially when it's something that I mean, it's it's technical, but it's simple at the same time. And I mean, I wouldn't mm-hmm. consider it simple. You don't yes, go anywhere yeah. else. They're like, hey, guys, why don't you get on your hands and burn and walk up these stairs? Like, no one ever says that. True. True. Hey, go upside down. Walk up those stairs. True. I'll give you that. Yeah. I mean, for, like, those of you guys that are, like, trying to do this for the first time, like me, like, getting frustrated is the worst thing you can do. Yeah. Because then you just turn into a hot mess. And then, like, I mean, I think I have, like, a couple more decent ones here in a little bit. But, like, right now, I'm just, like, letting my emotions take over. And it's not good. And then especially instead of resting here. longer, you start going even quicker. Like, mm-hmm. you start, like, kicking down and you're like, I got this. And then yeah. You like, you don't got it. I got this. Yeah. And then your heart rate's at 170 and you're just like, ah. Yeah. Well, maybe when we get the stairs in, we can do, like, a real quick video on a how-to for these. Yeah. That'd be good. And we can just we can just do like a twenty minute video just watching Jake do it. Like who wants to see that? (laughs) 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 If you don't kick it, here's a good point. If you don't have the ramp and stuff like that, you can scale this to just a simple like I have the girls when they first started, we just we honestly stacked plates, but we only did Oh, 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 there we go. Now about the yard sale. (laughs) Oh, made it! (laughs) Kick that cone now. Uh, so I had the, the girls as a great example. So when they first started working on this, we did one plate, then a stack of two, and then one. So it was very short. It wasn't a very high. So in terms of total plates, yeah. you need four, six, eight. Yeah. Eight 45-pound plates. Yeah. And that was it because it was just one step, then it was up to a two, and then back down to the one. So they just worked on getting over it. You could go as far as to just set a set of plates out and have to go over one set of plates. Mm-hmm. Like that's as you know minimal as you want to make it You know to work on you know getting over an obstacle like that. And your obstacle could be... Not a forty-five pound plate, plate, maybe it's a twenty-five pound plate. You know, something that you have to still pick something your hand easy. up. Something easy. Yeah, you have to still pick your hand up over something, right? So you can scale that back and work on, you know, small scales first, and then start building up your, you know, skill level and, and the intensity of it. So yeah, we know not everyone owns these yes. mats. Now, granted, uh, the company that sells these mats it's usually twelve hundred dollars. What I bought it for was three hundred fifty. So it, it's pretty. In terms of a gym, if your affiliate wants to buy, it's it's pretty affordable. Yeah, it's really now hard. hold on. Oh, here it goes. Is this it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid uh, code. That code messed me up. I was gonna be like, dude. Now where do I start from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, I wasn't even starting that. I just started wherever. But yeah, I think Andrew's right. A good scale is just stacking plates up. It's a great scale. Or like, I mean, honestly, even if you don't even have time for plates. Just doing shoulder taps sure. is great for being able to just weight transfer. Because, I mean, going upstairs, you're doing a weight transfer over and over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure. Any last uh, things about this workout that might help folks at on our... No, I think it was a good... It was a good... Skill type. It was yeah. a good skill. And so, um, b- because Jake will be going to uh, the Mid-Atlantic pinning his video review, I don't trust any of his videos. <laughs> Seriously. It's a cheater. <laughs> You Especially <laughs> his 271 snatch. I don't believe that at all. Garbage. 273. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so pending video review and which is going to be fine. Um, uh, and you're going to go to Mid-Atlantic. These are so cheap. I think you're going to see these in a lot of sanctioned events, which is good. I think if sanctioned event is going to represent regionals, and this was a regionals, this should be in a sanctioned event. Therefore, Jake's going to be spending a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Once we get the stairs, it's hard to stack plates. That takes time. Mm-hmm. But once we get stairs, so easy. it's going to be like, oh, look, yeah. I can set it up in three minutes. So you're going to spend yep. like the first like 10 minutes every day out yep. there just yard sailing. I'm going to have like multiple cones lined up. Like if you're at like a, like a, like yeah. what, are you, what are you going to hit golf balls? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, I know what you're saying. You think you line all the golf balls up? What is that called? What do you hit golf balls? I don't know. 
Like driving range. Driving range. Yeah. So I'm gonna line up all the cones so you can just start kicking them out of frustration. Yes. I'm gonna give you like 10 cone kicks yes. and then you're done for the day. Perfect. Yeah. I actually like that. Sweet. <laughs> it's a great idea. Um, I think you guys both finished. I, I finished, I finished my third Oh, round. you're almost done. I'm yeah. done. I'm done. Oh, we're done. Yeah, okay, that's it. Fourth round, that's it. Cool. So we did that workout for Midwest made. Of course, it was a little bit different, but uh, we changed it up just because we had the obstacle one. It was a good, a good, a good sub, I think. But now you got his. Now it's my Now it's on it, and then you guys can go after it. Yeah. Cool. Any yeah. Other final thoughts? Practice it a lot if you're not good at it, whether yeah. it's plates or if it's a ramp. Insert really cool clip of Jake kicking a cone. <laughs> Dramatic music like that. Just, just sing it again for me. I'll use your audio. Oh, really? Three, two, one. In the arms of an angel, far away from me. I don't know the rest <laughs> of the lyrics. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty solid. All right, guys, we'll see you guys later. See ya. See ya.